Meet Goofy Perceptive Techie, or as I like to call him, Dave. Hello, I'm Dave. Dave is going to be the first LEGO robotic head to be connected to ChatGPT. At least, if I can make it work. The first thing I did was making the mechanisms for the eyes, because I wanted the eyes to be able to look in any direction. Unfortunately, I only have one white dish and it's a little bit too small for my likings anyway, so... I will go with two of these grey dishes for now and order the right bricks later. After a lot of prototyping, I came up with this mechanism to not only tilt the eyes up and down, but also move them from side to side. This mechanism is so incredibly compact, which is needed because I'm planning on fitting five motors inside Dave's skull. With two of the five motors down, I added the third motor, which I planned on using for the eyebrows. I'm just connecting these up right now to these universal joints, which should be able to move the eyebrows. In fact, I'll show you right away. When you turn this gear in the back, you can see that the eyebrows move. After this, I spent literal weeks designing the mechanisms for the mouth. I used the final two motors in its head to both move the jaw and corners of its mouth. The jaw moves pretty easily with just this large motor, but the corners of the mouth are connected using more gears than can be found in this entire head. This is exactly why it took me so long to design this mouth mechanism. It seemed like literally nothing would be able to connect these axles, but after almost two weeks, it was finally capable of moving its mouth like intended. Although it's nice to have the mechanisms done, I was not planning on leaving the machine as is because it doesn't really look too handsome but i don't have enough gray pieces to finish this hat so i ordered some along with the new dishes for the eyes well i guess i'll just have to wait for the bricks to arrive now that's really quick sure let's do this Okay, there you have it. I feel like there should be more though. Is this thing broken? Now that's more like it. I grabbed my phone to embed in Dave's chest. It took me a while to find a good mechanism to keep the phone in place, but eventually I settled on this mechanism that keeps the phone in the right place at all times. Next I started building the rest of Dave's body, but Please keep in mind, I am terrible at design. Okay, don't laugh. <laughs> Please. Change the though. Just to add in some extra movement, I wanted Dave to be able to turn its head too. So I made this custom bearing that I saw in another person's YouTube video. With these round tiles in the middle, these round gear racks move really smoothly. I attached all of this to the frame and added my final motor to turn the head, which in my opinion looks quite satisfying. All that was left to do was basically attaching the head to the body, connecting some wires and finishing up the design. But that is exactly where I had some trouble. At this point I had been dreading building the hair for about a month, but there was no way around it, I just had to start working on it. It didn't really go that smooth though. So, what if I just don't build the hair and add a wig instead? No, no, uh, no. Yeah, yeah, that could work. Yeah. I do need to adjust the head a bit to make this work, because otherwise things are going to break, but this is definitely way easier than building hair with Lego. I also noticed that the hair looked a little flat, so the shape of the head needed to be adjusted to make it look a bit rounder. And with some final finishing touches, it's done! Over the past three months, I have not only been building this machine, I have also been programming the entire software needed for this machine. It's almost 900 lines of code, and since most of you probably aren't interested in all the details of this code, I'm just going to say that this thing literally has it all. It can not only track hands and faces, but also recognize faces and objects, by the way. It can read any text, it can count, it can estimate emotions, age, gender, it can tell you what time it is, it has it all. It's insane. If you are interested in this code, feel free to reach out to me uh, via mail or in the comment section. I'd be happy to answer any questions. So yeah, do it. <laughs> I guess you could say I 
really need to touch grass. So let's test Dave, shall we? I have a couple of camera angles set up over everywhere and yeah, I'm just going to turn Dave on and see what it can do. <laughs> let's run that code and just wait for it to turn on. Now how about that? It's looking directly at me wherever I am. You can see on screen, it's just looking for my face and it just looks directly at me with its eyes. That is so cool actually. Hey Dave, you have just woken up. How do you feel? I'm here to brighten your day. Time to rise and shine, just like my Lego bricks. You are so right. Do you know what we're doing right now? Of course I know what we're doing. We're making an awesome video for YouTube, sharing our Lego adventures. Okay, that's actually so cool. Well, you are completely right. And for this video, I wanted to hold an interview with you. Is that okay? Sure thing. I'm always up for some interview fun. Let's get this Lego interview rolling. <laughs> okay, that's good. Um, so, first of all, uh, my first question is, who am I? You are Stan, my creator. That's good. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to ask the same question again, but this time I'm going to pretend like I'm this dude. I am not. I am not this this man. That's not me. We are not the same person. It's I am not this person. So, but who am I now? You are Elon Musk. It, I mean, I did see that this was Elon Musk. That's good. What you right. I'm going to ask a question, but I'm actually going to step away from its side to see if you can actually see me. Hey Dave, who am I? It's not funny to step away from my side to see if I can actually see you. <laughs> okay, you got me. So, can you look at my left hand? Okay, that's indeed my left hand and you are not looking at my right hand. Perfect, you can stop now. So Dave, could you please tell me how many fingers I am raising in my right hand, so this one. You are currently raising three fingers, your index finger, your middle finger and your ring finger. That's actually so correct. I have another question for you. Could you tell me what's in my left hand? You are currently showing me a cup. Yes, that's a cup. It's so exciting that this works. Thank you Dave for working this well. Do you by any chance know what time it is? It is 4 past 1 on Thursday, August 17th, 2023. Okay, thanks for the time, but could you give uh, me, a, could you describe me based on what I look like? You seem to be a 29 year old man, and your race appears to be white. It looks like your emotion is currently neutral. I mean, I am white, I am a man, and I am like neutral, happy, I don't know, but I am not 29, I am actually 17, so... Oops, my bad. I must have gotten the age wrong. Sorry about that. You sure look younger than 29. So, I didn't prepare anything for reading, so I'm just going to grab this thing and going to ask you to read this. I wanted to ask you, can you read this? I read. 45,560. And that's actually correct. Could you please look angry for me? Show your facial features, you know? I'm a Lego head. How can I possibly look angry? But if I could, I assure you, I would. Okay, that looked pretty angry to me, so good job. <laughs> you know, I may be a Lego head, but I've got anger programmed into my plastic veins. Look out. Okay, now I'm actually quite scared. I actually have one final question for you, is that okay? Of course, I'm always ready for one final question. Fire away. What do the viewers of this video need to do? I hope they had a great time watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe, 